Today we're going to be making a really cool project called Texture Train. Let's begin on the background. When you get started with your background, this is just the background space that your train is going to be covering on. These are just a few ideas to get you started, but by all means, go ahead and draw anything that you would like in your background. I begin with some tree or some um, clouds. I'm adding on some grass. You could add a few trees. You could make it into any kind of landscape that you would like. Your train's going to be taking up the majority of your picture, though, so you might want to not spend a lot of time on your background, but maybe come back to your background after you're done with your train. So just go ahead and add on maybe some train tracks that your train could go on, the green grassy ground, and then we'll get started on making our engine train and the cars. You'll find some pieces of paper that have different kinds of textures and different kinds of patterns on them that we can use to make up our texture train. There's also a pattern of an engine car that you can use. So I just traced that in pencil and I'm going to cut out the shape that I could use for my engine. And then I'm going to also use the leftover paper to make for the little stack that the clouds come out of. So I arranged that together to give me a start to my train. I'm also going to take a moment and glue down my pieces right away so that I don't lose any of my pieces as I begin working on this project. Now that I've got the beginning part of my um, engine for my car, I'm going to take the other pieces of paper and add that on for the cars that the train is carrying. When you look at your paper, you might have different patterns. I'm trying to choose the pattern that will go nicely and show contrast between my background. If it's a blue patterned paper, it might not show up very good on blue paper. So I tried to use different paper. Now let's try making this look more like a train. I'm going to grab a Sharpie real quick and start making the window, the stack for where my train um, has the clouds or the smoke that comes out, the front part of the car, and then maybe just a few more details. And that looks a lot more like a train now than what it used to. Also, even though there you've got some really cool patterns on your train, I'm going to use my black Sharpie marker and add more details for the cars of the train. I think that this does a really nice job making it look more like a realistic train rather than boxes or squares of patterned paper. So I feel like these little details make the project look more realistic. So please don't skip this step. This is an important step that makes your project have lots of success. Okay. I hope you have fun doing this too. Now for the really fun part of this project, we get to start making textures. You can use any kind of texture that you see on the back table. Some cotton for the smoke that comes out of the top. There's different colors of yarn, corrugated paper, aluminum foil, feathers, tissue paper. You do what works best for you. But the thing that I want you to notice is even though the corrugated part paper is cut into squares or rectangles, please don't glue that down. You want to cut it down to make it smaller than what the size of the train cars have. So this is providing textures, an actual feel to the paper. You can actually see it and feel the texture into your artwork right now. But don't just leave it as a square or a rectangle that's the same size as the car. Cut it down a little bit so it looks like it's heaping from the box that makes up your train cars. Um, any color of yarn, any color of feathers, again, this is your choice of what materials that you would like to use to provide texture into your texture train. You do not have to use the same materials that I'm using. Please help yourself to the materials that are on the back table and use them according to what kinds of textures 
you want your train to have. Now that I've got my textures done, I thought I would go back and start adding on some wheels to my train so that it looks like it's on the tracks. Now would also be a time if you wanted to add flowers, if you wanted to add trees, or more into your background, maybe some birds, go ahead and do that with your finishing touches. Thanks for watching and have tons of fun!